Yes, all my people, abundance. I'm over here reading because I want to share something with y'all. Woman, child, and man. Cosmos and earth, eternal light. Each one reach one. This is how we grow. I see you, my brothers and sisters. So just out of curiosity, right? I just want to make sure I'm, I read this correctly, right? So Bill Carson is 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 being nominated for uh, conscious community leader or something like that. You know, this is what's going on. And it, it, remember, if they put them on TV, if they put them in front of your face, <laughs> they ain't for you. <laughs> I don't knock nobody. But again, I, I, I wanted to question. I wanted to take on anybody that that's in the conscious community that that are saying that they telling their people the truth. And when I'm reading right here, I don't hear them fucking telling the truth. So let me just say this, and I don't mean no harm, and I'm being fully honest when I say this. I don't challenge none of my brothers and sisters physically. I'm not into that. I'm not in here to challenge you violently. That's the farthest from my mind. But when it come down to the to, when it come down to our children, the next generation and the generation after that, I have to challenge you intellectually and, and challenge where you stand at as far as the the your uh as far as the love that you say that you have for your species. I have to ask that question. You see what I'm saying to you? Because I got to I got to ask the question on why we're talking about everything else. But the number one core truth about all of this, and this is DNA. This is this is DNA. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my last airbender in here. Let's see if I can get the last airbender in here. So so this is DNA. And. And I know that other people, you know, want to want to want to want to want to want to use terminologies like racism, hatred, anger. You know what I mean? Um, anger, hatred, racism, uh, um, dealing with childhood trauma just to smother up and cover up the fact that you rather acknowledge your occupation and accept that over what you what you are genetically composed of. So I understand that. But so let me just say this, the name of the title, what you don't use, you you lose. So let me give an example. Our frontal lobe of our brain, right? And more important, more importantly, let's just say the cerebral cortex. Now, let me ask you a question. Where else have you ever heard the word cerebral? Huh? Or cerebrum? Where have you else have you ever heard though? Forget talking about anatomy. On television, a movie, or a cartoon. Tell me what movie that you have you ever heard of cerebral or cerebral? Hmm? Hmm? Let me see if somebody got the answer in here. Huh? It's a, it's a, it, it's very popular. Let me make that very clear. That's why I can say it. Hold on, let me see if somebody got it in there. Nope, not the original people. It's the original. Oh, yo, Yizzo, I fucking love you. I love you. Let me pin this right here. I fucking love you. You see that right there? You see what? Oh, you see? You see what they did? Look at what they. I, I hit pin, and they still wouldn't allow me to pin that. They still would not allow me to pin it when I hit pin. You see that right there? Hmm. Where did Professor uh, who who controls cerebral? Professor Xavier. And what did Professor Xavier want to do with the mutant population? He wanted to integrate. He wanted to integrate. <laughs> what and where they and when he went inside cerebral, what was cerebral? What was the what was cerebral abilities? Cerebral had the ability to tap into every mutant on the planet. And it had the ability to tap into every human on the planet. Oh, Kala, you know what, Kala? I hate you, Kala. I don't like the fact that you actually make sense out of the shit that you be talking about. And it's so you you make you put it in layman terms, Kala. And we and some of these grown ass people, grown ass children still can't get it. Absolutely not. You still can't get it. You still can't get it. So so what happens is, what happens is, let me say this, let me say it. This is how we stay in our ego. Let me block you. Get the fuck out of here. Let me first of all, let me pin you. Let me pin you and now let me block you. Let me block you. See, every man has an ego and everybody got a fucking ego. Let me get you out of here now. Let me block you. 
Let me block you. How do I block you? Go live. No. Uh, I want to block you. How do I? Matter of fact, let me screenshot you. Because see, this is how you. This is how you get rid of motherfuckers like this. You and your ego. You and your ego. You and your ego. Y'all so. This is this is what I tell you. People only regurgitate what other people say, and it sounds good to them. You see what I'm saying to you? But I will be able to sit there and tell you like. Everything on the planet has an ego. Everything that's natural has an ego, except for a dog. All unnatural animals, all unnatural things have no ego. And more importantly, if you look at a dog, a dog has no ego. A dog doesn't has a preference on what sexual partner it would use to procreate with. It would try to procreate with a chicken, a rat, a mouse, a fucking muskrat. It don't make it even a human. See, a dog, and this is this is what I this is what you remind me of. You see what I'm saying to you? So when people be like, yo, Kala, you got a fucking... Every man should have an ego. You shouldn't have pride. Know the difference between pride and ego. Because, see, you know why people quick to throw that out there when it comes to Kala? Because you can't... You don't have no self-discipline. You didn't grow intellectually. You're still stuck. You you know what you are? You a Jezebel. I just posted this about this. Women are raising these emotionally as men. You are a Jezebel. When a Jezebel see a real man, he becomes threatened. He instantly becomes threatened. So he try to use trigger words to, to deflect what the real purpose of the conversation is about. What he's really talking about. Oh, it's your ego that you believe in your people more than you believe in other, other races of people. It's your ego that you love your planet, honeybees flies you love everything in nature just as much as you love and value yourself it's an ego because you no longer want to be abused by another group of species that have no genetic identification to the planet other than through abuse and genocide it's an ego because you want to see your mother of humanity your sister the the, the divine life giver of this planet it's an ego because you want her to use her own individual mind and love herself and then turn to her sister which is her reflection and value and appreciate her and breathe life into her creation her own son s-u-n right here so it's an ego you see and this is what i tell you you're dealing with people and more importantly you're dealing with people with underdeveloped brains no creativity they're stuck inside of their they, they have been they stuck in their uh, and their compart their compartmentalization they stuck they stuck in whatever category the European man the Asian man the Arab man the Indian man whatever the eukaryotic cell put them in they're stuck there there is no growth and no development behind them so the first thing they say is you're, you're in your ego so let me give me the question my people would I be in my ego if I wasn't working and I was talking this shit right here and I pulled up in Mercedes and BMWs outside and I was like yo bro I'm on vacation but listen my people you got to get the sun you got to do this that and the third would I be in my ego with it oh you know why I'm in my ego because because I don't rely on another man to do anything for me. You know why I'm in my ego? Because, see, I don't subjugate myself to money. Be to where, though, that you can control what I'm going to say out of my motherfucking mouth and tell me, well, I don't want to buy a hoodie no more. I don't want to buy a shirt no more because I don't like the what you just said out of your mouth. Th see, that's you're the these are the type of people that should not be or not going to be allowed to be on this planet and not around not and not healthy to be around us as 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 angelic benevolent beings these are unhealthy people completely unhealthy you should you can't name nothing on this planet that doesn't have an ego when it comes down to itself and its species nothing natural even pelicans even even fucking uh 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 uh, uh, uh what you would call uh what's the what's the the pink from flamingos even flamingos even you ever see go go to a beach where seagulls are at and see how and see how arrogant they are when it comes down to food. <laughs> you ever see a seagull come down and snatch the French fry right out of your fucking hand or attack a child for their food? You see what I'm telling you? You 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 don't know that you the reason why you're quick to throw trigger words out there because your brain is underdeveloped. Your frontal lobe of your brain is actually black. And you knew what I nine times out of ten, they know what I was getting ready to come in here and talk about. So again, if you use it, you lose it. Let me move on past the virus. Because if you come on my videos and you watch, if you come on my videos, you already know I do my commercial break between what's a virus, what's a virus, um, What's a virus, a uh, 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 flu, and what viruses and diseases are undeveloped molecules, and they need to they need to attach themselves to something that's actually living in order for them to exist. So when you see a stupid motherfucker like this that want to come out here and just 
say shit out of your fucking mouth or you're in your ego, but yet you don't even know why the bottom of your fucking hands and feet are white unless you watch my videos. You don't know how your endocrine gland system say you can't teach your fucking child. You're fucking, you're like, you're like, why would I even discuss? Why would I want to even have a conversation with you? You're, you're in a category of these people right here. You're in, the, you're in the category of these people right here. Let me show you. Let me show you. Why, what, and how? This is this way you're at. Why, what, and how? <laughs> That's the category you fucking clown. You you you're in your ego. So now let me get back to my ego because see, I have an ego so much that I believe. See, let me tell you about my ego. My ego so motherfucking great that I know that if I get a woman pregnant that I'm going to be able to teach my child and I can teach her. See, I know that for a fucker and I'm going to take care of my child. See, that's how but that's how deep I am in my motherfucking ego. How far are you in your fucking ego? <laughs> oh, you're in your ego. Uh, you're in your ego. Oh, you're in your ego. You're talking about anatomy against Kala. You're talking about bi bi biology against Kala. You're in your ego. Shut the fuck up. Go read a book. Go read a book, clown. Go read a book. I told you. Yes, I would. Hold on, let me put let me post this because this is more important than this this dumbass post right here. I already screenshot you, so I'm gonna get you out of here. Yes, I would. If I was to get on TV, I would say the same thing and I would not. I would not. Hold on. Let me let me get this. Let me get this clown off my joint. Let me get this uh unpinned. Let me get this out of here. So anyway, let me let me let me make this very clear. If I got on TV, I would say the same thing and I wouldn't use not one profane word. So anybody that ever heard me on an interview, anybody that ever heard me speaking to anybody or even sp speaking to anybody in public or children, whatever the case may be, I do not use profanity. But when I'm speaking to a vast audience, I'm going to speak my mind. And, th and then I noticed after I unpinned that individual, it was a woman. So therefore, listen, this is what I tell you. Like, I don't give it. First of all, let me just make this very clear. Any woman that deal with me, any woman that I have in my company, they're happy. See what I'm saying to you? Anybody that's around me, they're happy. They better be happy. The fuck is wrong with you? Because happiness starts with them. Feel what I'm saying to you? And guess what? The women that I fucking, that I would fuck with, women that fucks with me, love a man with ego. You see, because see, let me tell you what type of ego I have. My ego is that I'm not letting nobody fuck with my family. But let me tell you what else type of ego I have. I can sit down and I can listen to a woman. I can sit down and I can listen to my child. I can take advice from my woman and my child. I can take in. It's not just because I'm the man of the motherfucking house. It goes my way. No, it's not. Because of your opinion, if your idea, if your vision is more stronger and it fits our situation better than what I have, let's go with it then, baby. <laughs> let's go with it then, baby. See, that's the difference between the men that you have been dealing with and laying down and opening up your life force for as opposed to me. So now let me move the fuck forward. The fuck out of here. Come on here. Talk about my ego. When the last time? The, the, what, what was the last book the nigga you fuck read? I promise you, you can't tell me. Don't tell me cat in the hat. <laughs> what was the last book the nigga you fuck read? Let me ask that question. I, I'm being real. So so when women talk shit to me, I, I, I could ask you a serious question. What was the name of the last book of the nigga you fuck read? What was his book that he read? I promise you, you wouldn't be able to tell me no shit like that. I, I don't know, Kala, you're in your ego again, Kala, because you know why, Kala? You're talking shit. Why? I wasn't bothering you. I came on here to, to spit my facts about what's going on with the development of our brain and what's going on around here. And you came out of no motherfucker where, fucking with Kala, another person, another, you don't never, you gonna go on white people station right now. This is no fucking lie. That's why I tell you who you fucking with. These, our people are the worst. You can go on white people. Go on Mr. MB33 channel right now. Go look at any of his fucking comments. How many of you see this, the people telling him he got an ego? How many of his own people telling him that shit? <laughs> How many of his own people doing that shit? Huh? I'm just being honest. That's how I tell you like this shit is so, this is, this is so fucking like, 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 like some of us are so pathetic. That's why you people think we're really gonna it's gonna be a whole bunch of us moving forward. It's really pathetic, man. We're really pathetic. Um, and I know I'm not, and I include myself in this shit. Pathetic. Literally pathetic. And I mean it. Pathetic. How Kala could never develop a fucking a ego like Hollywood and Pindar Moloch. 
had, had hold on for one second. Have Kala ever raped and abused a group of fucking women and then put a, then get the same hold on. <laughs> I'm going to hit home. I'm going to hit you home real fast. Watch this shit here. Have Kala or any male that speaks for freedom and liberation of our people, have we ever raped and abused a whole group of women and then make videos? Hold up. Hire a whole cast that reflect the women that we raped and abused. First of all, hold on. Not only did we rape and abuse a whole motherfucking group of women, you understand what I'm, and did scientific experimentations on you for over and over and over, right? For hundreds of years. Not only did we do that, not later on down the line, now I'm going to make videos about this shit. And then you guess what you're going to do? You're going to marry me and bear my fucking children. <laughs> but I got the ego. You're fucking sick. <laughs> I got the ego. You're fucking sick. Not only, hold up, not only am I going to abuse you and abuse your children that you have come out of your womb, I'm going to make videos about it so you can see it and that way you will never re that you will never forget about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not only am I going to abuse you, I'm going to make videos about it and hire you to make the videos for me. Mm. 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 All right. Whew. Hold on. Let me get on over here. Let me get on over here. Let me get on over here, bro. Let me get on over here. So, let me read this part right here because I about to read this part right here. Forget narrow pro, narrow. So forget narrow prosthesis, prosthesis. Forget about this, right? Forget about this narrow prosthesis. Forget forget about that. I'm going to read this part right here. Paralyzed spinal cord and brain injuries has had a has has been almost impossible to treat because the motor neurons that would be active. That the motor neurons that would activate the muscles were either all killed in the original injury or degenerated from lack of use afterwards. All of them, see, I'm looking, I got the thing down here and I'm over here. So right here, degenerated from lack of what? Use afterwards. So this doesn't just happen when injuries come to the spine. Where is they, where is say what? Neurons that were active, neurons that would activate the muscles were either all killed in the original in injury or degenerated from lack of use afterwards. Now, this is the reason why I want to say this. Lack of use afterwards, because I'm going to use this whole, I'm going to, I'm going to do a whole video, but I always like to come on here and just give some to give some love here to my people. So when you're talking to people on social media and you're talking to people that don't, that are afraid to know the truth because they don't want to learn nothing, here you go right here. Let me explain something to you. Do you know what this is? Sarah Bellum. Do you know what that is? The one that want to talk shit all the time? You talk about your ego? Have no idea what the fuck that is. Well, let me just give you an example. In, in Latin, right? Sarah Bellum means miniature brain. So a lot of you are operating from this. This is why my sister Al Shaharazar said that we're not we're not growing past our brain functions are not growing past the age of 14, 15 years old. We're not growing past that. Why? Now let me tell you why. Because if you're not using it, you will lose it. That's just like, for example, I haven't rode a bike. I, well, technically, I do have a bike. So I rode a bike last year. I ride a bike in the summertime. But let's take somebody that used to ride a bike when they were younger. And then now they're about 35, maybe 40 years old. And they haven't rode a bike in so long, right? Once they get on the bike, hold on, hold on. Let me get you out of here. Get you out of here. I, I ain't got to say, I, matter of fact, watch this. Let me see if me and you go live together. Add ECB22. I know that, I know that pale. Books. Okay, well, come on, on, come on up here. Let me pin your comment. Let me pin your comment. 
Now, this is what I want you to do. Won't you come up here now? Let's go live together. So, so, so now people don't have to believe the book. You can tell me what they should believe. Come on up here. Let's go live together. Let's see if we go live together. See, I'm different from all. I'm th look, he blocked the live, people. <laughs> he denied the live. See what I'm telling you? I don't have no problem pulling you fucking lizards out of there. I have no problem pulling you niggas walking around with your shirts off when we got the ozone layer like you belong here. Get the fuck out of here. You see, the, you see his profile picture? Like he walking around with his shirt off like you belong here. <laughs> Nigga, your time cruise days is over. You walking around here like you belong here. Niggas got comfortable with the ozone layer. <laughs> Niggas got comfortable with the ozone layer. Riding around with the motherfucking reflect the glasses on like chips and shit. <laughs> Remember the motor cops on the motorcycle? Chips. Pull it up with the reflect the glasses. Come on, man. Niggas got comfortable with the with the ozone layer there. You got so comfortable with that ozone layer, you actually think you belong here, bro. And you're so arrogant. That's what makes it so sad. You actually think you belong here. That's how fuck the ozone layer. <laughs> got you niggas. Arrogant. Hold on, let me get off. I can't, I can't answer that right now. Ozone layer got you fucking arrogant. Now, you can look this shit up for yourself, my people, because guess what? Guess what Kalal always tell people to do? Research this shit for yourself. That's the one thing about Kalal versus anybody else. Don't believe in me. Believe in you. You understand? Believe in you. Look in the mirror and see how important you truly the fuck are, baby, because it's all about you as an individual and us as a collective species, baby. This is what the fuck it's about. <laughs> you as an individual, when you look in the mirror, look in the mirror, say, motherfucker, yes, oh. <laughs> This shit's about you as an individual and us as a collective species, baby. So now let me explain something to the to 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 Tom Cruise down here. <laughs> Don't believe those books. Well, come on up here, bitch. To give me something that I should believe. Give me a quote or something that I should believe. See, I don't believe. I know that's the difference. See, you believe that you are natural to the planet, just like. You know what they say, mama's babies, papa's maybes? <laughs> That's you, papa's maybes. That's what you are. You maybe believe, you maybe think you belong here, but you don't belong here. You see what I'm saying to you? You don't. So you decline the request for us to go live. Let me see if we can go live again. Let me hit the button for you one more time. Come on, baby. Come on up there. Let's see if you deny it again. Let's see if you deny it again. Come on. Let's see if you deny it again. Oh, shit. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, don't believe the book. Why you hide your face? Put your face back on here. <laughs> what you need my face for? You got my voice. You oh, already see my face in the pictures. Oh, oh you got this a hybrid. Are, Go ahead. Now tell already, me what the, you already see my face in the pics. Hybrid. All right. Now tell me what the problem is. Hybrid. I'm Matter of fact, you're not a hybrid. You're actually you're actually a modified. So tell me what not to believe in the book. I mean, why would we believe in books when the white man wrote the books? The same man, the same man that put my mother, my 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 sisters, all of us through slavery. They wrote the books and gave it to well, us. So why, why, why would we believe it? Whoa, 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 whoa. We, let me finish. 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 How are you in slavery? Come on. No, nobody look like you. Supposedly, was, supposedly, supposedly. Wait, 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 wait. How would your ancestors was enslaved? I'm confused. That's that's what they teach us in school, right? No, no, hold on. What you mean, us? That's, Who the fuck? What is you? I don't know what you are. That's what they teach us in school, right? No, 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 no. Hold that's on, what hold they on, teach hold us on. in school, I right? don't know what you are. Okay, what, what are you? you? Why you want to see? Why you been fascinated with my face so much? I'm not fascinated you, with you. I, okay, I to, okay, just that, listen. Listen to the message. Well, listen right, to listen. the message then. Right, you don't, uh, okay, don't worry about how I look. All right, listen, listen. Listen, listen, your genetic makeup tells how you look. But I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna, my, right, I'm gonna my, mom, my, my, my mom, my mom, my mom, and brain. my and my dad are both supposedly African American. No, both of them. Both. Well, then that's a lie because we're not African American. Supposedly, then. did you not hear that? Supposedly, yeah, but listen, but supposedly, they're not. Look, supposedly, <laughs> so, listen. All right, boy, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, let me finish. so I can finish lining you up. Go ahead. Okay, what you got to say? I'm finished. I'm gonna let you finish. I mean, supposedly, I mean, that's mom. all I really had to say. I mean, how how can we believe anything that these people have told us in these? Books? I got you. Like, got you. So now let me like, explain let, to hold you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read something to you. Because I I got a book. 
I got a book. Let me read something for you then. You want to no, hold on? Hold on. Hold you on. Put up books? Some book. Let me answer your question. Okay. Let me yeah. answer your question now. You ready? Yeah. Now, when you say, "How could you believe anything that these people have told us when they when they everything that they told us is a lie?" I don't listen. They can make they 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 can name the glands in your body tree trunk. They can name the fucking pineal gland in your body body wash. It doesn't change the functionality. Of okay, okay. That have, have, Hold have on you one ever, second. Have Let you me ever finish. did an experiment? Have Let you ever did your own experiment on the human body? Allow me to finish speaking. You're, okay, you're not allowing me to finish speaking. Okay, go so ahead. Can, you you're say. not allowing me to finish Say's speaking. So that way I can that way I can finish this. So no, no, I haven't so went inside of a lab. Know. There you go again. Still <laughs> running your fucking mouth. You will never know. This is this is what I'm saying. This is a hybrid. So listen, once again, let me explain something to you. Man, so what, let me explain something. <laughs> there are biologists, there are biologists and geneticists that can confirm everything that I've been stating. And once, excuse me, biologists and geneticists this and chemistry, same people that put us that, that, Excuse me, allow me to finish speaking. The white man, a biologist, the white man, the a scientist, the white man, oh the same people God, that put man. us through slavery. Oh you, you, your references are back to the white man. Your, Yo, all your references brother. are back to the same people that put us in this shit. Once again, all your references you, what, are the same people what, that put uh, us in this mess. Okay, once again, once <laughs> okay, let me once again, once again, once again, once again you. This is what I say to my people when you're dealing with people with underdeveloped brains that have no merit, nor no, they have no merit or anything to stand on other than the fact that because they don't belong here or they came here through mixed breeding or raping, you understand what I'm saying to you? Now everything in the books is fake. So everything in the books is fake. Then why did you, then why, why look, did you prescribe, why did the, you look, prescribe you see this? to go to school? What? Look, look. Check me out. You see that, right? You see that? Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Are you so? Are you a Homo sapien? No, okay. I'm not. Okay. So this book, the first page in this book, it says anatomy and psychology narrows the science of biology by looking at one specific species, Homo sapiens. So this whole okay, book now, is about you, Homo sapiens. The whole oh, book. Hold on. There you, there you go. The whole book. You, now can I answer? Can I, can I rebuttal to that? Can I rebuttal to that? Can I rebuttal to that? What? Look, I got the notes. As soon as, you, as soon as that, I got that book right there. And as soon as you read that book and you go further into that book, it breaks down both anatomy. No, it, it don't. It, it, no, it, it don't. Do, no. It don't say shit. Yes, it, don't. I, it don't say nothing about melanin. Our bodies are way it, different. Are, it don't say you nothing fucking, about melanin. No, are you, of course, it's not going to sit exactly. there and talk about what you, you see what I'm us. talking about. This is where, you, this is where you're dealing us. with another mother. Yo, the, the book that us. I'm reading. This, these you're, books, you're this book is you're the white right man book. To, That's the you're white not man allowing book. me to finish talking. You're That's not allowing me to finish talking. You're yeah. right. The white right. man listen, book. Listen. White man books. So listen, listen. A white man book, you can't, you can't comfortably, you can't comfortably defend your premise. But it's a white man book, and you constantly keep cutting me off. You can't defend your premise. That's all you say. There's saying. nothing to defend. Just think. Okay, use so your head. You, all you gotta do is when think you, about it. Let me, to to defend. let me finish talking. When you go in that book, turn the page to stem cells, dummy. I don't need to go to stem cells. All you're doing is wow. regurgitate. All you're I'm doing is regurgitate me. another thing another man said without doing your own experiment. If you Listen, ain't never, you, how the hell do you even know what a stem cell is? How do you know what a stem cell even look like? Wow. You don't know. All you know is what wow. these people have told you. That's all you know. <laughs> all you know is what these people have told you. You don't know, you wow, don't know shit. You know, that's all you know. You you repeat some shit that's in the book. Oh, and we, yo, if we know that the... If, if we know... Listen, listen, listen. If we know listen. the same scientists that rape our mothers and daughters and brothers and sisters... If that's the if those are the same people running the world, why the fuck would we believe anything that they say in their books? You are listen, and this Ooh. is why I tell you this is why I tell you that you have you this is why I tell you where your brain is underdeveloped, my bro. Your your brain is completely underdeveloped. I can tell you that. So in other words, so in other words, everything that they told you, everything that they tell you about your anatomy or their anatomy is just about their anatomy then. I just told you to go to stem cell page. 
I just told you to go to Procure, go 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 to the state, go to the part in the page where it says prokaryotic cell versus eukaryotic cell. Go there. You didn't go there. Let me get off of here. Fucking lames. But anyway, my people, let me get back to this because you're dealing with a fucking lame. And if you listen, listen, the number one thing is is that it doesn't change the functionality of your genetics. Neuromelanin produces carbon. Carbon, as a matter of fact, neuromelanin produces hydrocarbon on this fucking planet. And this is what our bodies is. This is why we absorb energetic frequencies at a high volume versus all other species on this planet. This is why our bones are thinner than other races of people on this planet. This is why our skin, this is why our cells, this is why, what's this, our, forget the skin, this is why our cells develop differently from them. We don't have originals, we don't have nucleus, we don't have an internal membrane inside of our cells. This is all scientific fact. Now, because when you're dealing with a hybrid that can't explain his justification to the planet, that's why you got to hide your face. That's why you got to over talk people. Because again, you can't justify. No, this book is about homo sapiens. Bro, I got the same fucking book. Go to the page where it says stem cells at and see what it says about stem cells. And if you understood, if you read one book, if you read from one geneticist, if you read from one neurologist, you're going to get the same. You're going to you're going to get the one message that you're looking for. But if you read from multiple of them, not only when you read from multiple of them, if you understand your genetics when they speak about black people, then you will be able to differentiate what, who blood and who genetics they're talking about. Oh, it's a white man. It's a white man. He's talking about himself. The white man in that book never said he grow a tail. The white man in that book never said he had monkey fruit flies or cow or wolf DNA. In none of these books, he tells you that. He never, he calls himself the eukaryotic cell in every anatomy book. He does not say evolved or I have fruit flies, must rat. He doesn't say that. When he speaks about the single cell organism, he speaks about archaea, bacteria, he speaks about E. coli. He speaks about single cell organisms that does not need to feed off another organism in order for it to sustain its life, its existence. Meaning that when somebody said to me the other day when I said about no, nothing on the planet needs to feed off another thing in order for it to live. And somebody said, so, somebody said, well, what about lions when they need to eat a gazelle? A lion will eat a gazelle or a buffalo to live, but a lion is not going into a buffalo and gazelle's uh, habitat and have them start to act like lions. That's not what a lion and gazelle is doing. That's not what a lion is doing. So that's a difference. Nothing on this planet lives off another species uh, psychologically in order for it to live. None of them. Not one species on this planet. Every last one of them do its own unique specific duty on the planet to its own species so when you're dealing with people on this planet when you're dealing with people on this planet that just want to scream that just want to over talk the white man wrote this the white man gave you this the white man gave you this the white man because you can't use your own mind so when you can't use your own mind see when you let me let me let me just let me just show you something real fast my people let me show you how let me show you how let me just read i'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna read i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one thing right here here you go right here you see what that says right there? The 12 cranial nerves that connect the brain to the eyes, ear, nose, what? Facial muscles, skin, and some glands. Now, 12 cranial nerves. What else has the number 12 in it? See, 12 years of school, 12 years on your calendar, 12 years on your 12 months on your calendar, 12 inches on your ruler, 12 zodiac signs. What else have 12? Huh? So when you're dealing with people that, that like, like for instance, that individual like this that, that spoke about that, that, that anatomy book, he reads the Bible the same way he reads the anatomy book. You see? He reads it and believe it, Barbados, word for word. That's how you read that. When you read beyond that, when you see beyond the veil, now you actually see the characters in, in the Bible, and you actually see Genesis and Revelations happening right now. Genesis, the revealing of the genetics. Revelation is the lie that was told to us. 12 hours on the clock. Yeah, you see what I'm... And your 12 cranial nerves, your brain is a neural network. Your brain...
controls all your motor functions. Your 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 the your, your electrical impulse is the thought that you have. That's your electrical impulse. So you the twelve cranial nerves got you. They thinking you got thinking they got you with the twelve all of the clock. Put they put the twelve in your face all fucking day long, and yet we don't understand that they are using our peripheral nervous system, our central nervous system against us. And because you have an individual that will say, man, this book is about homo sapiens. It's just about the other race because you can't differentiate. And the reason why you can't differentiate because you're stuck in the middle. You're not, you're not all the way prokaryotic cell and you're not, and, but you're all, you're like, you got a taste of prokaryotic cell in you. You got a taste of our juice in you because my mom and my dad supposed to be black. But again, my people, I, I, I got a bullshit meter. And guess, guess what? When you don't want to show your face, they let you know that, that your integrity is gone. So anyway, um, anyway, so you have, if you don't read this science right here, if you don't read it, then you'll be like, yo, 12 cranial nerves, you wouldn't even put it with nothing else. Everything that's inwardly, Everything that's inwardly is outwardly. That's why they say divine God is internal inside of the body. The body is the divine God is internal of the body. This is God body. So everything that you've created, your cigarettes, your computer, your cell phone, your television, your camera, your camera comes from my eyes. Virtual reality comes from my pineal gland. Your antennas on your television or your radio come from my hair. You see what your satellite my ears, you see, you, you don't get, you still ain't get everything come from your genetic makeup, your car that's built out there, the engine, the brain, the battery is the electrical current, the atom, huh? The, the, the fuel lines is your veins, the, your, 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 um, your, 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 um, your liver is the carburetor or the, um, or whatever the fucking shit is. I'm not too familiar with vehicles, but y'all know what this is. Everything comes from your body. Everything comes from your body. But you don't know that when you're not of the stars. You don't know that when you come from the cosmos. You don't know that when you're not from the cosmos. So what you would do is you'll look at my videos, and then you'll grab a book, and then you'll read the book like you read motherfucking the Bible. You see, you're, you won't grab the book. See, I, got, I, I don't just have this neuroscience. This is this is just this is I I just don't have this book. This book doesn't tell you black and white people. It tells you the function of your central nervous system, your peripheral nervous system, how neurons, how dendrites, how exons work. They tells you it tells you how that work. It tells you how your skin. It tells you how the, your auto atomic or your autonomic service. It tells you how those things function. You want to know how those things function so you can master yourself. It tells you that. It doesn't tell you not one book is going to tell you black and white. You got to look at that from yourself. So in this book, when it says, when it says, hmm, whew, come on, Kala, get on this nigga, Kala, get on this fool, get on this fool, bro, get on this fool. When things go wrong, neuro neurologically and mental illness, see that right there, mental illness, mental illness. Well, part of your brain, more importantly, let me read over here. See that right there? Well, part of your brain, the cerebellum, which means miniature brain, is gone. Huh? And most of them are gone. 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 See, I don't have a problem. When somebody want to have an intellectual, you, you know, you want to go back and forth. You want to, you want to have conversations about this, that, and the third. But she, listen, when I don't have a problem when people want to go back and forth and people want to talk shit, I don't have a problem with that. My thing is this: if you're gonna talk shit to me, talk shit with anatomy, talk shit with genetics, talk shit with truth. Don't just talk shit and say things just out of pocket just so you can get an arouse. Because you're not going to get an arouse other than an intellectual one. Simple as that. You understand what I'm saying to you? And, and again, let me just say this to you. Let me just say this to you. I'm not for one to read a book. So let me, here we go right here. Language. Most of your languages, hold on, matter of fact, shit. 
I could be doing this shit all day long. Let me get over here. <laughs> Let me get over here to this dumb ass nigga. Hold on. Troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Perfect. Psychological psychology. Nope. 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 A useful metaphor. Building persons. Nope. Troubleshooting. Nope. Taking the behavior and psychologically. Nope. Experiment and research psychologists, cognitive science, behavior, neuroscience, personality, social uh, psychology, development psychology. This way I'm reading that, my people. Uh, development psychology, mental psychology, trauma psychology, abnormal research and method psychology. Uh, these psychologists spend the majority of their time connecting, researching, and they often work in academic settings. Experimental psychology covers a wide range of topics as individual psychology. Nope, that's not what I wanted to read. It's just a few things that I wanted to come over here. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this when I go live. I'm going to use this when I go live. I'm going to use this when I go live. I'm going to use this when I go live. But let me get back over to what I was talking before before the idiots came on my fucking page, man. Fucking weirdos, man. Come out of nowhere. Get the fuck out of here. This, this is a ball language. This all 90%, 99% of the languages that we're speaking on this planet came from a motherfucker that doesn't that we don't even see with our eyes every day. But anyway, let me get it. Let me let me let me let me finish speaking about this brain right here. And let me tell you why. Uh, certain individuals can't seem to comprehend what the fuck is going on. So this is your cerebellum. And cerebellum, again, in Latin means miniature brain, right? It means miniature brain. So now you think you think every the stuff that we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis on this planet, my people, we are doing it from a primitive state. Walking up the street, riding a bike, driving a car, playing football, basketball, shooting a gun, being a law enforcement officer, none of this right here has to do with this right here. None of that. N none of that, what, you're t what I just mentioned, have to do with really exercising any of that right there. All of this shit, that right there, is right here. All of that shit is right here. None of what I, I spoke about is consistent of this. All your football players, matter your basketball players, your rappers, your entertainers, your fucking people that sit around all fucking day long and be lazy, don't do anything, don't do any kind of self-developing. All of them are in their miniature brain. All of them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up, people. I'm doing something. You know what I be doing shit. All right. So anyway, now what happens is this system is designed to keep you in uh to keep you to keep you in this part of the brain. The lowest portion of your brain. Now, right here is the stem part of your brain. You have the midbrain, the pons, and your medulla obligata, which connects the spine right here to your medulla obligata. So when they say 30, when you see masons, masons, 33 degree masons, all they're talking about is controlling you and keeping you in your small miniature brain. That's all this is, 33 degree masons, 33 vertebrates up your spine and keeping you stuck in your small uh a miniature part of your brain. And right here, this is where your temporal lobe is right here. This is your temporal lobe. Now, your temporal lobe is very important because this is where your hearing is at, your auditorial, uh, uh, you, you pick in auditorial as, as well as your occipital lobe. All of this is right here. Now, here's the, here's, the, here's the problem that I have here. 
And I'm asking a neurologist. I'm not asking none of these. I'm not asking a hood doctor. I'm asking any neurologist or any one of my brothers and sisters that study study anatomy, that inner stance, that has a that you can have an intellectual conversation with. You have to explain something to me, right? Because this is my thesis. This right here is where your central soak is at. In fact, this is where your two soft spots at. You have your somatic sensory cortex and you have your sensory cortex sitting up here. This is where your two soft spots at. You pull in information like a candy cane. If you ever look at your body, your body, look look at a candy cane. You When, when you pull in information from your central nervous system, it shoots up your spine so fucking fast. It goes around your, your cerebral cortex down into your dice. Cephalon. Down in here, you have your, your thalamus, your hypothalamus, your pituitary gland, and your pineal gland. Now, based upon, based upon the growth and development of where you're at in life, right, because we like to resolve situations quick, fast, in a hurry, your hippocampus sits right below the cerebellum. Your hippocampus is connected directly to your limbic system. Your limbic system pulls up memory from past experiences and events. So it so so it so when you get into a situation with somebody, you're looking for the fastest route or way to resolve this. And based upon what you have intoxicated your body with, animal food, animal poison, liquor store, gangster music, all that other bullshit, now you're ready to react and get rid of the motherfucker. But if you're a more calm and more rational person, then you start to take, sit back and think, like, is this person worth me getting into these situations with? And then what happens is because you have a bunch of neurons down here that can send chemical messages, messages to your muscles, glands, as well as other neurons, you also have a bunch of neurons up here. And this is completely separated. You have a you have a lateral sulcus that separates this, and you have a central sulcus that separates your frontal lobe, which deals with the highest consciousness of thinking in complex situations. So now, if you don't use this portion of your brain, it automatically becomes the it becomes dark. It's like so. Like again, if you 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 40 years old, you haven't rode a bike in 20 years, but you know in your mind you know how to ride a bike. When you get on there, you start riding the first two to three minutes, you're going to feel funny. And then you start getting back into your rhythm. But if you were someone that rode a bike every day, you could be 70 years old and ride a bike better than somebody that's 20 years old. Because you're constantly being, you're constantly practicing. You're constantly sharpening this. This is not supposed to have separations. You're not supposed to have a, uh, you're not supposed to have a lateral. You're not supposed to have a lateral sulcus. You're not supposed to have a, 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 uh, a central sulcus that separates this right here. You're not supposed to have this. As you're, as you're, as you're, hold on. These are what you call sulcus, separations. When you, as you start to grow older, this is what happens, which makes it harder for, let's just say, let me give you an example. Let me give an example. Let me give an example. Let's say these are two neurons right here. Let's say these are two neurons, right? And this is a... This this is a this is a X. We're going to just say these are two neurons. We're not even going to put the exon track in there. We're just going to say these are two neurons, right? Now, mind you, when you have a neuron, <laughs> Kalai, you're fucking. I'm like ghetto. I'm ghetto, ain't I? As long as I get the motherfucking message through, I don't give a damn. Kalai, you're ghetto. Oh well, Coke. Here we go. Neuron. Exxon track. This exon track pulls information to extend. These exon tracks travel all the way down to your leg to other exons. Um, and, and, and these exons pulls information to another exon that transfer, transfer that information to either uh, another neuron or your, your muscles. So now this is a neuron over here. This is the neuron, right? Then here you go. Both of these, this, this is what a neuron look like. And both of these are neurons. Man, Kala. Yeah, you're right. See, I could teach my kid. This shit is fascinating to me. See, a real woman would appreciate, like, like this nigga really be on his shit. You damn right I do. This nigga really be on his shit. You damn right I do. So this is the sulcus that I'm talking about, the separation. So you have a neuron here, and you have a neuron here. 
and you start talking to somebody that has a soul focus like this, this deep and this far apart from each other, and you're sitting there trying to convey to them that your birthday, your social security number, the calendar is all a fucking lie. Now, this neuron is trying to communicate with this neuron, but it's saying because this neuron is not picking up that neuron signal, like what the fuck is he saying? He's saying that the clock and the calendar is all fake, but it's not communicating to say, yo, bro, yeah, he's telling the truth. That's wrong. It's made up. It's a lie. Because you had these, these sulcus separating them, it makes it hard for the left hemisphere of the brain to communicate with the right hemisphere of the brain via the corpus callosum. See? See, see what I'm saying? So I'm asking my brothers and sisters that study biology, that study anatomy, that study neurology, can you please tell me I'm wrong? Because if that, if, if I'm not wrong, then <laughs> we're literally being mind fucked. If I'm not wrong, and I don't believe that I'm wrong, because a baby brain, when a baby brain is developing. The only separations that are there is the top, the, the central sulcus, the two, the two soft spots at the top. That's it. If that, that's the only two motherfucking separations right there is the is the soft spots at the top. Now, if you're telling me that our brain should be one whole instead of in parts. Your brain should be one whole. Everything should be communicating with one another when you're trying to find reasoning for something. Everything. Not one portion of your brain, not a small portion of your brain, the entire brain. Not the, the, the telencephalon, the diencephalon, your basal ganglia. All of them should be functional, not just your, 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 your thalamus and your hypothalamus, not just your pituitary gland. All of them should be functional, not just one, not just parts, all of them, because at birth, birth they all functional. Hmm. They all functional at birth, every last, last one of them. So again, my people, I just, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me read this last part here. Let me read this last part. It's something, the last part that I want to read. I'm ghetto as shit. I go from, I go from hippocampus, the amygdala, like, listen, <laughs> limbic system. <laughs> Hold on. I want to read this one last part and I'm out. Okay, here we go right here. Somewhat paradoxically, the frontal lobe of the neocortex, hold on, acts as the controller of the controllers. Hold on, let me read that again to you one more again. Somewhat, oh, let me get my pen. Somewhat paradoxically, the frontal lobe of the neocortex acts as the controller of the controllers. This is mediated by the complex multi-layer working memory functions of the prefrontal cort cortical, excuse me, where you say cortex, prefrontal cortical. Know how I'm reading this. I'm reading this through my phone. So bear with me. So that way everybody can follow me. I want to read this through my phone. Prefrontal cortical that allows us to use I was to pursue complex multi-steps. Hold on, man. Fuck this shit. Let me read it this way. And then y'all just going to have to follow me. Somewhat paradoxically, the frontal lobe of the neocortex acts as the controller of the controller. This is, this is mediated by the complex multi-layer working memory functions of the prefrontal cortical area that allow us to pursue complex multi-plans, multi multi-step plans in order to finish a term paper due next week. Now listen, this is what the frontal lobe allows you to do. In order for us to in, in order 
to finish a term paper due next week, you must plan to, to, to gather and read the background literature, set aside time to type the paper, arrange for meals and, and transportation for other activities during that time, and not to be distracted by the homecoming weekend festivities. Long-term goals pursuit is impossible without a well-developed frontal lobe. Listen to this again. Long-term goals pursuits is impossible without well-developed frontal lobe function. So, so this act, just think about somebody that always talk about they want to do shit in life. Just think about that. Long-term goal pursuits, regardless if it's a relationship, no matter what. Just think about what somebody want to do in life. And I want you to tell me something. What do they look like? Do they get the shit done? Huh? When people talk about how they want to be better, how they want to see their people better, do they get that shit done? Do they work on themselves? You'll know it now. See, you'll know. You'll be like, damn, see, I know why you act like that. Your frontal lobe is fucked up. You ain't tapping into it. See, you're, you, 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 you tapping into your miniature brain. You're not tapping into this. So you understand why they act the way they act. You will sit there and look at, hear that conversation. You'd be like, see, look at this bullshit. Now, I'm out of here, my people. I just wanted to share this with y'all, my people. Let me get to work because I, I've been here all day. I've been here since 7 o'clock this morning. Let me get my read on. Let me get my vibe on. I just couldn't believe when I when somebody texted me a good message talking about Billy Carson, they're going to get an award, and they trying to get other people in the conscious community awards for being, let me explain something to you. I, that's some fucking sad, sick shit. You want notoriety from these people. When these people give you notoriety, it's for, 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 when these people give you notoriety, that means you're doing something that they want you to do. You don't see them give me any notoriety. I got motherfuckers that actually came out of the womb of the mother of their mom, and they upset with me. Came out of the womb of my mother, but their father is something else, and they're upset with me because you see why? I'm telling the truth, no matter what. I'm telling the truth. This ain't about hatred for you because I don't hate you. Why would I want to hate you? I can't grow and self-develop through that. You hate me. That's what it is. No, and in fact, you don't even hate me. You hate you. When you look in the mirror, you look at you, you ask yourself, am I the most valuable player in my, in my race destruction or am I the most valuable player in my race uprising? You have to ask yourself that because all of us play a role. The, you can you say... Well, I didn't do anything. I just sat back and watched TV and kept my mouth shut. Then you played the role. You don't believe that you did. You played the role in their demise. You did. Everyone plays a role. You go outside and start shooting motherfuckers, you play the role. You go outside and start encouraging other brothers and sisters to join the military, get a job, build a career, be Michael Jordan, be LeBron James, be Stephen Curry, be fucking uh, 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 Randy Moss, be the quarterback, be this. You, you encourage... What did you do? What did you do? So this is why I say these these jokers are mad, and it's okay for you to be mad at me, but I'm not stupid, and you shouldn't be stupid either. <laughs> I crack myself the fuck up sometimes, man. I really laugh at my motherfucking self. Oh my God, let me unpin this cloud. <laughs> let me unpin it. Oh my God, man. I really make myself crack the fuck up sometimes. Seriously, this shit is funny sometimes. But anyway, let me come up off here, my people. I just wanted to just have a few laughs, get on here and share my, my thoughts, my opinions, and also some scientific facts that's going on. And I ask anybody, I ask any neurologist or I ask any scientist to give me proof that I'm lying. Give me proof that I'm wrong. That's all. And then and, and for all other for all other races uh, uh, that got a problem with me, I have a question to you. Why do you have a problem with me so much about what I'm talking about? I'm not talking to your people. I'm talking to my people. Why is it so important for my people to be joined hip to hip and hand to hand and arm to arm and shoulder to shoulder and heel to heel with you? Why is it so important for my people to be? Why you're not happy with being with your people? Why is it that it's so important for you to be with mine? Why you 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 still questioning my people intellect? You telling me you you you're telling my people that they don't possess the 
the, the, the intellectual properties to know when someone is lying to them or not. So therefore, they're nothing but followers. That's what you, that's what all other races are saying. Don't listen to Kala. Don't listen to Kala. Why would they want to listen to you then? I want them to listen to themselves.